Monster Hunter World is coming to PC soon. That means there's going to be a whole bunch of nooblets that aren't going to know how to play the game. And because I am the most well-known Monster Hunter content creator and greatest Monster Hunter player in the whole world, I know people are just clamoring for a guy from yours truly. Huh. Well, that was unexpected. Hi there, it's Joseph. Um, <laughs> oh, this, this blew up. Uh, <laughs> firstly, I wanted to thank everyone who watched these videos and subscribed to the channel and shared them with their friends and the people on the subreddit giving me kind words and the people on, you know, YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. Sharing this with people, like, it, it means a lot. Like, holy cow. <laughs> I, I... Just getting these messages of letting and people letting me know that, you know, they, they show it to their friends and stuff. It's like, it's insane. It, it means a lot. Thank you so much. I would never have imagined that they would reach this amount of popularity. That is insane. Like, at the beginning when I made them, I thought, oh, okay, it'll probably get like a thousand views at most. And I made the Greatsword video and it got like 900 views and then I was like, Awesome! That's as much as my most viewed video! This is amazing! And then I went to bed, and then the next day, it got another thousand views! And I was like, oh shit! <laughs> and then I made the longsword video, and then even more people watched, and then I made the hammer video, and then I made the, the lance video, and then they were getting like 10,000 in their first day! And I'm like, oh god, I have a real thing going on right now. I'm recording this the day after the release of the Sword and Shield video, um, and my voice is a little shot, and I just woke up, and I'm recording this the next morning, but jeez him. And uh, I want to do a few things in this video. Uh, first, I want to go through my real thoughts on each weapon, which might take a while. <laughs> Even if I do a minute each, I'll try to go through them quickly. Uh, and then after, I'm going to go through some frequently asked questions and then uh, do some Q&A with some of the questions that I left, or uh, the comment that I left about questions on the Heavy Bowgun uh, video. And then uh, mention about what's going down, uh, what's uh, happening, coming down the pipeline for the channel, the future of the channel. So, the Great Sword. I like the Great Sword. It's, uh, I wish I was better at it. <laughs> because it's a, it's a really good weapon, I think. I think mo uh, pretty much all of the weapons are good. I don't think any of them are bad, really. Yeah, it's it's a good weapon. I wish I was better at it. I w wish I was better at positioning and timing, because when you land a good hit and you stagger that monster, it is... Mm, it, oof, it feels good. The longsword. Ah, oh, the longsword. There was a lot of unintentional salt in this video, but <laughs> I just kind of really wanted to push that whole elitist, like, Oh, are you using a... a Fast, easy weapon, so you must be a noob and you're not a true monster hunter. But, despite the tone of that video, I do very much like the longsword. Uh, I, I think it's pretty fun, and most partly because it's so easy to use, you know, like you don't have to worry about missing. Uh, its range is crazy out there, so tail cuts are especially easy. It does some decent damage, I like the fast combos. I like that you roll out of your attacks and not just like sidestep. I really don't like sidestepping. Because I'm bad at it. That's gonna be that's gonna be a running theme. Is that anything that requires a lot of skill and I'm bad at, I don't generally like. Not that I think it's bad, but I'm just bad at it. But yeah, longsword feels pretty satisfying. The only thing, the only problem is, uh, you might have noticed this bias throughout all the videos. I don't like temporary buffs, especially ones that you have to keep going. Like. Uh, it's less so on, like, the dual blades or something like that, or the switch axe, but, like, for things like the long sword and the insect glaive, where you have to keep this buff going, it, it just, it's just kind of, like, a little annoying to me. It feels like a chore, because when it runs out, it's like, oh, now I have to spend the time trying to get it back. It's just a minor nitpick on these weapons. It, it doesn't make me like them any less. It's just, you know, having to keep your buff going, and, and then whenever they go away, it's just kind of like, oh, man, now I gotta bring them up again. But that's not a big deal. The dual blades. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the dual blades. I don't dislike them. I'm just, uh, I don't know. They just seem very shallow to me. I was surprised how little there was to the weapons once I was, uh, when I was practicing them and doing research, watching some guides. I was like, oh, there's really not that much to this thing. Uh, all right. 
and they're just kind of meh for me. The whole spinning slashing thing you do on the monster when you go down its back or whatever, the aerial attack, that feels so good. And uh, I mean, that bumps it up pretty high, like, to make me want to play it again. But otherwise, you just go into demon mode, uh, do the whole, like, slashing thing, the fast slashes, and then that's pretty much it. Like, and then you just kind of occasionally spin around. I mean, it's, it's cool, but, you know, for me, personally, it's kind of whatever. The hammer. The hammer is what I go to when I feel like playing greatsword, because the hammer is like the greatsword for people who are bad at positioning. <laughs> like me. And, uh, of course, all those other people. Screw you, I'm great at positioning! I'm sure. But, like, hammer is like greatsword, except you can move around, and it does stun damage, and, you know, it's a little bit faster, and it's just nice. I like the hammer. The hunting horn. I also like the hunting horn very much. I wish I was better at it. Uh, it suffers from the same problem for me uh, as the whole buffing thing where it's like, oh, my songs are gone, I gotta bring up my songs again. But it's a little bit alleviated by the fact that you can, you know, play it as you fight. I don't know. For me, it's, it's a little bit less irritating to get those buffs going because, you know, playing the song makes this big, huge poof as you play it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. I wish... I wish I liked it more. I wish, because I really wish it was like, I wish I used it more. The Lance. Uh, so I have some history with the Lance. I used to use it, or at least try to use it a lot more in 4 Ultimate, and I hated the Lance. I was so bad at it. It was so slow. I thought it was clunky. But in World, I tried it again, and I adjusted my playstyle. I'm like, okay, I have to kind of plant myself down, kind of be a rock, and be more defensive pick my battles a little bit better and I was like huh this I like this thing this thing is precise this is makes me feel kind of nice and stalwart and prepared and mm, it's pretty good I think I might use it a little bit more plus that dash attack feels good the gun lance okay so this <laughs> this one is uh, the start of the era of what I like to call rushing to get the videos out so they're not nearly as accurate or as high quality as the other ones. The Gun Lance, and also bias coming through, I don't like the Gun Lance. I, I'm i really bad at this thing. I had so much trouble getting footage for this weapon. And also, I was rushing to get videos out because I realized they were getting a lot of views, and I was like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta get these out. So I was writing the scripts, and I'll talk about how I make these later. But I was writing these down, I was getting clips, and I was watching guides from Gaijin and Eryx, and I was like, okay, I get it, all right, 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 write the stuff down. And this one, I think, is one of the weaker videos, and I think I, I kind of go a little bit too mean on the gun lance, and I don't know. I don't know, I feel like that video could have been done better, and that I could, could have done more research. Uh, I'm not good at the gun lance, I think it's too slow for me. And uh, so many accidental forward thrusts that kind of lunge you forward, getting me killed because it, it's a long animation time, and... Ugh. I'm just not bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm just bad at that thing. That's, that's most of why I don't like it. Get a good gun lance user on your team, and they can wreck face, man. Because that thing, for as bad as I was when playing it, I could stagger monsters left and right. It is a hard-hitting weapon. The Switch Axe. Uh, another one of my weaker videos, just because I, I feel like the jokes were kind of low effort and just kind of the most straightforward, the most obvious ones to make. Uh, especially the whole, like, did you just assume my gender joke at the beginning? I was like, oh, because it's, you know, because it's weapon fluid, haha. -ha. I'll put this thing because that's a thing that people joke about, right? And I was like, uh. And I think people, the point was missed with that joke, which is my own fault for putting that joke in there in the first place. Uh, it was mostly just about the absurdity of the whole thing. Ah, whatever. Never mind. It's in the past. I think that joke... I think that whole episode could have been written better. Oh, again, I was rushing them out. And the Switch Axe, I think, is the one that I did the least research into, because there's misinformation in there, and there's just not a lot to that video. But that being said, I like the Switch Axe. I think I want to use it more. It's pretty simple. Uh, I was a little bit intimidated, because I was like, oh, I gotta change back and forth, but no, there's not a lot to the weapon. It's pretty fast, it's decent uh, speed, it's decent damage, the explosion feels nice, even axe mode feels nice, like, it's just an all-around nice weapon. It's good, like, I, I would say it's a great starter weapon, just 
you know, with a little bit of intricacies to it, and I think I want to use it more. The Charge Blade, here we go. So this, I think, is when the quality started to go back up a little bit, because the Charge Blade, I actually had a premeditated kind of bit I wanted to do, and that was the bit at the end with the whole overwhelming uh, information. And the Charge Blade, I did use it a little bit in For You. I was just bad at it, and I just used it for like one hunt, and I'm like, this is too complicated. And some people are like, oh, it's not that complicated, and I'm sure now that I'm a little bit more proficient with it, yeah, I can see where they're coming at, where it's like, it's not too much to it, you just super charge attack or whatever. But when learning this thing, uh, there's an unreleased video that I was going to make about me in the arena, doing arena quests, trying out the charge blade so that I could get uh, hunter coins for the bard armor. And learning this thing, I was like, oh crap, I'm doing everything wrong, I'm forgetting to charge my files, and I'm charging my files at the wrong moment, and all that stuff. So I really wanted to encapsulate that whole feeling into the end of the video. And for those of you curious, uh, Easter egg, uh, the first layer of me talking uh, and as well as the second layer is like a legitimate guide with a little bit of redundancy you know when you're trying to fill in an essay with just nonsense and like filler words that's uh the first layer and second layer of me talking the third layer is me actually reading this awesome <laughs> switch axe thing about the whole dp ass thing uh which i will put the link to in the description it's a great read it's really funny it's kind of in the similar tone to the crap guide but it was around way longer and it's it's great and it's part of the inspiration for the series uh and then the fourth layer is me reading the guerrilla warfare copy pasta <laughs> so i wanted i wanted to fit that in there somewhere and of course i'm throwing in a bunch of other stuff like ramirez of course where's my dragonator i like that people kept up with that and that was a fun video to make insect Blade. uh this one i think is when i really settled on what kind of writing and humor I wanted in these uh, videos. Like the other ones, I was just kind of like, oh, I'm sure unsure about this. And then in the Insect Lave, I feel like I really landed it, especially with the Lagiana uh, ice cream flavor joke. <laughs> I really like that one. Uh, I'm really proud of that joke. Just because uh, that's the sort of humor that I want to go for. Uh, part of it is uh, the whole metaphors and similes, but also the whole, what I like to call, that's not it, humor, where like you say something and you just give out blatantly wrong information for people to go, that's not it. You know, that's that's the kind of humor I want to do. But yeah, I like uh, spinning around in the air and even the ground move set is really good, uh, which people need to use it more because that's where most of your DPS is. Yeah, Gathering Essence is very annoying, uh, but you know, once it gets going, it gets going really good and it feels good. Feels good to use. Light bow gun. Light bow gun is very fun. I like it. Like I said in the video, without the hyperbole of hating on it and the whole sword and shield elitist thing, I think light bow gun is the sword and shield of ranged weapons. Uh, it's nice. It's versatile. It uh, is very fast and keeps you agile. And it's my third most used weapon. In fact, uh, here's a screenshot of my weapon use list. And here come all the comments of like, "Are oh, you only used that weapon three times?" Uh, yeah. I was trying to turn these videos out. I wish I had uh, done a little bit more experience. Uh, I was like, oh, I use these uh, few and far between in the previous games. I know, I, I, I know a thing or two about them, but clearly not for some of them, but whatever. The heavy bow gun. I like the heavy bow gun. It's another one that I f wish I was better at uh, because it's like, it's so satisfying. And everyone's like, oh, Wyvern Snipe is actually good. Yes, I know, Wyvern Snipe is good. I am just not a fan of having to lay down and fire it off when this mon when it leaves me vulnerable and the monster could get me. Like, I know it comes up, like, and you kind of have to because it, it recharges a lot faster than Wyvern Heart. But man, Wyvern Heart just feels good. Like, it just feels good to shoot. Uh, I like that it does more damage than the Lipo Gun, so I can actually fire and do damage. Uh, and of course I like dropping mortars and I like Wyvern Fire when monsters asleep. And besides, if uh, if you have Wyvern Fire, then um, you don't even need uh, to use Wyvern Snipe as a wake up. So yeah, there, in your face, Wyvern Snipe sucks. It actually doesn't, I'm, I'm joking, Wyvern, I'm sure it's great, I just prefer Wyvern Heart. Please, don't get angry. The bow, the bow is very fun, I very much like the bow. It is my second most used weapon uh, behind the sword and shield, and I like that you don't have to rely on ammo, you can just fire away. Uh, of course the whole stamina thing is a little bit annoying to manage, and it's it's fun. Bow and arrows is fun. 
Uh, and of course the sword and shield is my most used weapon. And instead of talking about the good things, because I shit on all the other ones and I talk about good things on those, I was so praising of the sword and shield, I'm gonna talk about bad things about it. <gasps> oh my gosh! I know, oh. Just, ooh, heresy. The sword and shield has weaknesses in the fact that although it can do all these things pretty well, and pretty decent, it never does them amazing compared to the other weapons. Like, it lacks range, its block is kind of the worst out of all the blocks because you take so much damage and you lose so much stamina. It doesn't deal a lot of damage and, you know, just, just kind of all these things. It's the jack of all trades, master of none. You know, it doesn't really specialize in any sort of thing. But uh, it's, it's a great backup weapon for if you're tired of using your main weapon and it's not giving you great results and you just want to learn the monster. It's just a great all-rounder, you know? You don't have to worry about sheathing to use your we your items. And even then, it has the fastest sheath, which kind of makes the whole item use kind of redundant. But uh, yeah. Oh, uh, an Easter egg I forgot to mention. I, I'm surprised only one... I've only seen one person mention this. I think it was in the subreddit. Nobody noticed this, but... Every <laughs> every thumbnail uh, past the longsword and the intro and outro, I make sure that the longsword gets a little bit longer in every video. <laughs> and I'm surprised nobody noticed. Absolutely nobody noticed, except for one person, but they nobody noticed that comment either. So if you actually look at the thumbnails, each thumbnail, uh, starting at the dual blades all the way up to the sword and shield, the longsword gets a little bit longer. <laughs> Until Sword and Shield, where I bring it back to its original size, because it was getting a little bit ridiculous with how stretched it was. So, I want to talk about how I structure these videos and how I make them, uh, before I go into some Q&A. Uh, how I make these is... Uh, first, I choose the weapon uh, from the list based on whenever you sort them by tree, and uh, how they appear in your item box. I pick, pick up the weapon and I record one hunt of me just using it, uh, or at least this structure is how I used it, I think, from Dual Blades onwards. I think Greatsword and Longsword were a little bit less structured. But anyway, you pick the weapon, I go into a hunt, I record the hunt, I uh, look up a guide, like either by Eric's or Gaijin, and then I listen to it thoroughly, I make some notes, I record a second hunt, then I write the script for the episode, kind of doing some changes here and there. And then I record a third hunt, trying to kind of implement the things I said. So like if I'm talking about a specific move in the uh, move set that needs showing, then I'll show it off, kind of like taking some time to show it off on its own, like in a, in a void without fighting the monster or with fighting the monster, just making sure to show it off. And then after that, I make some changes to the script as need be. Then I record my voice, saying it multiple times over because I speak fast. No, I don't actually speed them up. Aside from the uh, Charge Blade episode, I don't actually speed up my voice. I just do a lot of takes and I have fat lips, so, <laughs> and a very slight stutter. Uh, and so it's just like, makes it very hard to say these things very fast. You can even hear in some of the episodes where I very much stumble over my pronunciation of some, some things. And it's just, uh, yeah, I, I record it, and then I put it together. And a little confession to make, I don't actually watch any of the anime that I put, <laughs> any of the animes I put for the references. I just look, I just literally look up, like, a weapon that seems very anime, or if I need a meme to put on, I just literally look up, like, anime sword chi thing, and then I just put it on there. Like, that's it. I'm sorry. Sorry! No, I don't watch them. I'm sorry. It's nothing against those anime. I just, yeah. You don't watch Ruby? No, I don't. Sorry. Okay, so some frequently asked questions. Uh, firstly, uh, will you be making some crap guide to monsters uh, or crap guide to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate? No. Sorry. I, I think I'm done. I like where it's concluded. I feel it's nice and satisfying where this series ended. It's just, there's just so many, man. Like, the weapons themselves, there's 14 of them. Like, Jeez, like, even at two minutes each, that's 28 minutes worth of, of stuff, man, of, like, editing and recording and script writing, like, it's, it's a lot. And for each monster, that's just, ugh, I don't, I don't know if I can do it, I don't know if I have it in me. And also, I'm just kind of tired of the format, I, I, I like where it's concluded, I think it's nice, nice and, you know, 
where it left off, in like a nice climax with a sword and shield that I built up for so many episodes, and you know, like, I, I think I'm done, you know. I might return to the format in the future, make some crap guides to some other games or something, I don't know. But, uh, on the bright side, for those of you who are looking for that kind of, uh, pseudo parody guide to the monsters uh, i would recommend my name is gabe he makes uh this series called monster matchup which are similar in tone to the crap guides and kind of the whole not taking it very seriously and giving you the ins and outs of the you know the different monsters and their moves and their strengths and weaknesses and they're hilarious <laughs> and he's a really cool guy uh he also made the how it feels when I use the weapon series, which kind of somewhat inspired the Sword and Shield video, and you sh you guys should check them out. Uh, I, they're hilarious. I'll rec uh, I'll put the link in the description to his channel. And oh my god, it feels so weird that I'm the one making the shout out. Just earlier, <laughs> earlier today, I saw someone like, oh, so Gaijin Hunter made a shout out to you. I'm like, what? what? Holy shit! Really? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it feels God. It feels really weird. But yeah, he's really cool, makes awesome videos, they're hilarious. Uh, I'm gonna show a clip from Toby, the Toby Karachi video, which is my favorite one so far. It's the Toby Karachi. Toby Karachi. I said a Toby Karachi. It's the Toby Karachi. I don't know, I, I feel like I don't want to tie myself to Monster Hunter too much because I want to do some other stuff. I'm so glad some people are asking for more overly edited uh, Dark Souls. And yeah, I just want to do other stuff too, not just and even then, just not just games either. I want to do more art stuff like this, like what you're seeing in the background. I, I wanted to do, you know, more world building stuff with Ian and help him out with his videos and maybe make a few of mine. I, I just, you know, I, I want to do a variety of stuff. In fact, even now, like after the Sword and Shield video, I, I just feel so burned out on Monster Hunter. I want to play some other stuff. I want to do some other stuff, make some other structured videos. And, you know, like this was very demanding on me. Every day I would be like, okay, now I have to re record and edit the next uh, weapon guide video. And it was just a daily thing. And I'm lucky to have so much free time that I can do that, but I want to do other stuff too. So, sorry. Also, even if I did, we don't uh, have a capture card. So, uh, but that g leads into my next uh, thing that uh, f feels kind of weird to mention. But uh, some of you were asking about how you can support us. Uh, if you can tip us or something, there is a Kofi. Uh, link that I'm going to put in the description. So if you want to support us in that way, we can uh, get some more resources to make better videos and all that stuff. And yeah. Anyway, I don't like to push that kind of stuff, but yeah, it's it's just because looking at the Reddit post, it got gilded eight freaking times on the Monster Hunter subreddit and Monster Hunter World subreddit it gilded. I'm like, oh my god, Jesus, this is amazing. So yeah, if you want to support us, there's a Kofi. Uh, just pay what you want or don't. You know, you don't have to. I, I, the main reason I want to make these is to entertain people. That's why I want to keep these ad-free. Uh, and I think I saw an ad on the Sword and Shield video the other day, and that made me really upset. I'm like, dude, I think it has something to do with the whole copyright of the music, which, whatever. Uh, now I'm going to go into the bow video and try to answer some of the questions you guys had in the little Q&A comment. What are my favorite things about Monster Hunter and one of my nitpicks? So my favorite thing is just the satisfaction of learning these weapons and learning these monsters and just like getting good at it and finally wrecking that stupid Kurapako that's been giving you so much trouble. <laughs> Which there's going to be a little bit of a story to that later, hopefully, if I have enough time. This is going on for a long time. I don't know if you guys are going to stick around for this long. But yeah, I, it's just so satisfying and gathering all this armor and weapons and upgrading them and getting better and seeing your progression it just feels so good it feels so satisfying and the design for all the weapons and monsters just looks awesome too some of my nitpicks ah it's so slow this what this game is just so slow and daunting and you need a lot of patience and my god some of the design decisions are just like i mean it makes sense but like just learning them i remember first learning how to play this game back in three ultimate and it was just like oh my god this is a slog this just takes forever and of course uh, contradictory to what I said, some of the monster and weapon designs I just don't like. Like, they're just kind of bleh. Uh, in World especially, like, uh, a lot of the weapons just kind of look the same. Like, I, I get it, it's because of the graphical upgrade and it's 
takes a lot of resources for something that's high quality fidelity uh, with this stuff. I, I get it. It's just, you know, it's just a shame. And of course, some of the monsters, they're just kind of annoying. Lavasioth, la lava, Lavasioth, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's just, uh, I don't like fighting that thing. It's in lava, and it's, it's literally just a, it's a Jurotodus in lava, and it hardens, and just everything about it is irritating. But you already knew that. Everybody hates Lavasioth. And of course, uh, siege fights, uh, I don't like them. They're just kind of, they're just really boring to me. Like just grabbing ammo, going to the thing to shoot at this big monster, grabbing ammo again, going to shoot the monster again. It's just, uh. and like the monsters are so big, like even the ones that allow you to go down and fight it, they're like, there's nothing to their move set. Their telegraphs are so long and like, their attacks are so slow and wide-sweeping, it's just not interesting to me. Like, it's kind of goes against everything Monster Hunter's about. Learning the monster and using your moveset and timing your attacks just kind of becomes a mindless hack and slash. And grab this cannonball and put it in, in this cannon and shoot it at the monster. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a fan. Oh, the tier list. Someone uh, asked something about the tier list. I don't believe in the tier list. I think it's pointless and it's dumb. I understand why it exists because people, those kind of people just like that sort of stuff and calculating things, but uh, don't don't look at the tier list, guys. If you're trying to figure out which weapon is best for you, just play with them. There's a training area. You can try them out in a safe space. It's perfect for, you know, just trying out all the moves and stuff. Don't look at the tier list. The tier list is dumb. How do I feel about the insane growth of the channel? It feels surreal. Even right now as I sit and record this, I still, it, it doesn't feel any different uh, it's just hard to believe. I, it, it's, I, I can't believe it. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm recording this for anyone to listen to because I've just, just been kind of doing this sort of stuff for years, kind of like recording my voice for projects and for videos that nobody watched, so it's like... But now people are watching them. It's insane. I can't believe it. Thank you. What are you doing with your time? <laughs> Why are you watching these? What do I think of the SOS system? I think it's great. I, uh... I see no problem with it, uh, considering it's optional. I'm fine with uh, giving a casualized option to people because they're not forced to use it. Uh, I would say the same thing for, you know, Fire Emblem uh, casual mode. I would say the same uh, for if, you know, for summoning for Dark Souls or if Dark Souls suddenly one day had like a easy mode. I know, sacrilege, I know. But as long as it's an option and like you can ignore it, well then there's there's no problem in my eyes. You know, just turn it off. Um, and of course, you know, people might say, well then there's no reason not to use it. Well, it's, well, no, but you can just, you know, that's, that's on you. If you feel like you have to use it, that's not really anybody else's problem. Uh, I, I think it's fine. Yeah, as long as it's an option and it's not forced on you, I think it's totally fine. What monster would you want to see next in World? Oh, my favorite monsters. Uh, I guess is a double doer where I can answer my favorite monsters. Uh, Zenogre. Uh, I would like to see the Arzuros Lagombi line. Uh, uh, Gormagala, of course. Celtas. Uh, more insects. I want to see more insects. Uh, I I'm glad that they're not just doing just dragons and lizards. But yeah, I want more. I want more frames that we can use for more monsters because I understand that they uh, have a certain skeleton. They have to build a new skeleton for a monster that's very different. And, you know, they reuse skeletons for monsters so it allows them to pump it out quickly. But, you know, if we're talking about any monster that I would want, it, it would be those. Um, of course, Nursilla because Nursilla is awesome uh, despite it being a spider. What inspired the series? Oh, there are quite a few inspirations. Um, some of you pointed out uh, zero punctuation. Yes, that is uh, <laughs> that's where I get the whole simile and metaphor humor and the fast talking. Any of you remember Arby and the Chief way back in the day? They had a show called Hyper News or something, Hyper Mail. I had kind of tried to imitate the whole tone of Master Chief and how he's just kind of a elitist asshole who doesn't know what he's talking about. So And he's just giving out false information left and right. Uh, where I remember the one where they were talking about Ocarina of Time and he was talking about the N64 controller where it's like, oh, there's this third stick that you have to shove up your butt. And I'm like, ha, that's hilarious. Because you don't do that. <laughs> what else? Uh, kind of inspiration for the other videos and somewhat in, uh, related to Crap Guide is the tracking of the text is inspired somewhat by Soviet Womble and also uh, Alpha Rad's 
how to play one one series on Smash Brothers 4. Because uh, I, I like that he gives the different characters different personalities and they're all kind of shit-talking each other. And I kind of put that in the overly edited series with each monster having its own personality. Uh, and of course, kind of a lesser... Kind of one that I think a lot of people would be surprised at. Uh, Larry Zauer's... Uh, basically Final Fantasy XIV classes. Uh, I wanted to implement some of that humor too because I really like, he also does the that's not it humor, you know, like with with the Black Mage thing where he's like, oh, did you know that if as long as you cannot see, you do more damage as a Black Mage? I'm like, that's hilarious. The best advice for a new player coming to Monster Hunter, be patient. Patience is the greatest virtue when playing these games because you will die a lot you will get hit by a lot of moves from the monster that you think is bullshit. I remember when I first started Monster Hunter, I got it for uh, Wii U. I got Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate because it was on sale. And I was like, oh, all my friends my friends are playing this game. Sure, I'll, I'll pick it up. And I hear Dodger because I listened to co optional podcasts back in the day. And uh, I remember Dodger was a big fan of it. And it looked pretty cool. And I was watching Pro Jared. And he's like, yeah, Monster Hunter's great. So I picked it up. And I was like, this game is bull just bullshit. <laughs> I was not having any fun. It was slow. You had to stop to do everything. I was like, this is, oh my god, I hate this. And I couldn't get past my first monster, which was the Kuro Peko. Now, the reason for this was because I went into the multiplayer lobby, unbeknownst to me, where everything is scaled up and they don't actually ease you in. It's, it's for people who actually have some friends to play with. And I was going up against these monsters. And I was like, oh my god. And I could not kill this Kuro Peko to save my life. And not only that, it... For those of you who don't know, the Kuropeko can buff itself with various songs, very similar to the Hunting Horn, including one that heals it. So, <laughs> you know, when I was hunting that monster, and looking up guys, I was like, this is the worst. So I dropped the game for like a month, and then I picked it back up after looking at some guides from Pro, Pro Jared, MVP Pro Jared, who got me into Monster Hunter and D&D, and... I was like, okay, I'm not doing the right quests, so I'm going to do these first single-player quests first. And I fought the Great Jaggy and a couple of other monsters, put myself together some armor, upgraded my weapon, and I had a blast. It was so fun, even on my own. And then I got Monster Hunter Fall Ultimate, and that was a lot of fun. I think that was the peak uh, Monster Hunter until... Uh, of course, World came along. I, I still think it's it's still it's pretty high up there, just like the single player alone, just the whole, like, Monster Hunter is not about its story, but I think the single player in Monster Hunter 4 with the whole arc about Gormagala is great, and I really don't think they'll top it for quite a while, and it's part of the reason why it's one of my favorite monsters. But yes, be patient. Get some friends or just like, join a hunt. Like, check out SOS flares, join a hunt, send out an SOS flare. Just like, play with people like because hunting with with some a group of people is way more fun when you see all these hunters jumping around and it, it makes sure that the monster isn't locked onto you the whole time so that helps favorite and least favorite monster well i mentioned before that lavasioth is pretty down down there but uh if we're talking about the whole series the series as a whole plesioth th that doesn't surprise anybody uh anything that's underwater in three ultimate i, I don't like um, things that one-shot you. Kezu. Oh my god, it just would not stop screaming. I hate Kezu. Kezu's... Ugh. Ugh. I hate all the lightning. I hate that it's constantly casting lightning, and, and, and that it's just, like, all around it, and I, I'm a, primarily a melee user, so it's just like, ugh. Oh god, I hate that thing so much. And it's bouncy hide, and it's gross phallic design. I just don't like that thing. The drones. Oh my god, the drones. The the Jaggy line is superior to the drones in every way. They will just not sit still. Oh my god. And I, I, I just don't like the armor that they give. I think it's ugly. Ugh. Ugh. I think I need to I need to make a freaking list <laughs> of all the monsters I don't like. Sorry. Sorry for any any fans of those monsters. I this is just IMHO. Just just I I personally don't like them. I'm sure they have their fans. I, I'm sure somebody likes Green Plessioth. 
and blood red kezu. It's just oof. I don't like them. My favorite monsters, uh, of course, I mentioned before, Gormagala, Zenogre, just basically the ones that I wanted to come into Monster Hunter World. They're the ones that I like to fight. Uh, of course, Rathian. I really like Rathian. Rathian is who I go to to hunt when I just I just feel like not doing anything. I just feel like doing a casual hunt just for fun. And of course, that <laughs> that's part of the whole joke about oh, Rathian's a sexy lady. I'm sure Rathian is a nice nice lady on the on the inside. If you're talking about like favorite, most favorite of all time, I uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need some time to really dedicate some time to figuring that out uh and this video is already getting way too long so i, I gotta pick it up design wise the uh, same uh the the reason i like hunting them is also their design zonger is aesthetic uh gormagala is aesthetic you know all that stuff what are the other members up to they're uh catching up <laughs> i don't mean to throw them under the bus but i think i'm the i'm like the one with the most experience uh editing and stuff because like i mentioned before i've been doing video editing and uh producing content for years just not here you know like I, i've been doing stuff for for a long time so it's not surprising that it get, get it gets them a little they need a little bit of a push to help out and there's nothing wrong with that like i'm not trying to diss them but like that's kind of where they're at they're they're all just kind of starting out so yeah they're they're planning stuff eric is planning some stuff ian is planning some stuff kate wants to do more stuff heather wants to do more stuff but yeah i just you know they i i, I want to help them out and where i can also, they're busy with other stuff like jobs and family and all that stuff. Like, I, I, the only reason I was able to get the time to do this is because I'm out of a job, I'm out of school, I got a lot of spare time on my hands, I don't go out often, and I wanted to make a bunch of videos. So, yeah, like, they're, they're busy, man. They, they got other stuff to do. I would say, uh, give it a little bit of time, and there will definitely be more content with the rest of the crew in this channel. Why do you wear the Wiggler head? Because it's hilarious. So I'm gonna wrap this up uh, talking about the future of the channel and kind of uh, what content to expect. Uh, there will be more overly edited. Uh, <laughs> I'm really happy to hear that some of you guys are looking for that. So there are more overly edited Dark Souls and another overly edited that will be released after this video that I hope you guys are looking forward to. As far as Monster Hunter goes, I will be making more content for it here and there. Uh, not nearly as much as I was recently, but uh, I think I want to keep it interesting. I don't want, just want to do me playing Monster Hunter episode whatever. Like, I, I feel like there needs to be more to that. Like, it needs to be a little bit more interesting. Like, and this is not a promise. I am thinking about maybe doing a video about the Behemoth series of quests because I haven't had a chance to do that. Uh, maybe do a, a couple more videos on PC, but otherwise, if, you know, as, as long as there's something new to do, and like, something interesting to show off, then, uh, yeah, I will be doing more Monster Hunter. Just, you know, don't, don't expect this to turn into a purely Monster Hunter channel, because I, I, that's not what I want it to be. I want to do some other stuff. But yeah, more overly edited coming down the pipeline. I will not be doing <laughs> Guide to Monsters or any of the equipment. Uh, I think I'm gonna temporarily retire the crap guide format. I might do it for another game in the future, or just like another thing in the future. Uh, just nothing anytime soon, I don't think. And I also have one more video on the way that I've been working on for quite a long time. It's a format that I wanted to do. I hope you guys are into video essays because I have one in the works that I've been wanting to do. Uh, something that I've been wanting to talk about for quite a long time. But I hope you guys stick around. Uh, thank you all so, so much for watching these. It's, it's insane just seeing just like Eric show up and Gaijin show up and freaking NCH Productions commenting on the videos. It's it's unreal and, and seeing them grow so fast and seeing the channel grow so fast. I'm, I'm looking at the Sword and Shield Guide. The Sword and Shield Guide has freaking 50,000 views. Jesus. What the hell? What? <laughs> That's insane. And the channel that freaking 20,000 subscribers. I was at 123 <laughs> at the start of the series. Oh my god, that's just... And I can't thank you all enough. Like, it, it means so much. It... I... I really have... There's there's no words that can express how, how grateful I am for this, you know? Because I, I... Just working hard and seeing it pay off is just amazing. 
and I, I don't know how to thank you enough. Yeah, I, uh, I can't, it's, I really don't know what else to say, it's just, uh, I, I'd be rambling and just thanking you guys uh, for another <laughs> 50 minutes. So I guess I'll, I'll stop it here, uh, enjoy more videos, thank you all so much. I hope you check out more of our content, uh, more of our videos, and I encourage you to, you know, subscribe if you want to see more, and, uh, and you know, I hope, I hope you continue to support the channel, and I hope you continue to enjoy the content we pump out. I hope you look forward to more of the stuff that we have planned. And, uh, yeah, here, uh, enjoy this Great Wiggler. <laughs> great Wiggler confirmed. Next monster. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs>